And hello to you fancy people on the internet. My name is Henrik and this is Valis Mobility Video number 44. Golden Hour Mobility Flow and a Cold Bath is the title of this 5 minute mobility flow you can tag along with today. First exercise is called Spinal Waves. You see me moving and flowing through my vertebrae in my spine from the top down all the way to the hips. Try and relax, not be as stiff as a tree and loosen up just a little bit. You are only as old as is your spine, therefore today we start by moving our necks and our backs in as many planes of movement as we can. Bending to the side, rotating our necks, trying to get the simultaneous bending and rotation in our spine all the way from the neck down to the lower back. A few moves counterclockwise and a few moves clockwise. You see I'm moving way better towards my other side, therefore I have to struggle doing this. Number three is called infinity eights. You see me kind of drawing the number eight with my hands. In doing so, I am moving my spine, my shoulder blades, my shoulder joint in general, opening up all kinds of weird muscles around the ribs, shoulders and the spine, along with the arms. Placing my hands on my hips. These are the easiest mobility routine in the world, hip circles. You can do this anywhere, just place your hands on your hips. Have them rotate clockwise and counterclockwise. It does wonders for your body. Assuming a wider stance facing the ocean, being prepared to take in the epicness of the nature. From left to right, Cossack squatting, alternating reps. Feet flat this time, meaning we're putting more emphasis on the insides of our legs rather than our hamstrings, 10 alternating reps on the left and the right, one leg is bent, the other is straight. Very simple and as we know strong flexible hips means less of a load on the lower back. Very good for your health in general. Stay in the wide stance, assume the so-called middle splits position and start rotating your spine. When we lock the hips, i.e. we fixate them down to the pelvis, most of the rotation will take place in the upper back, where we so desperately need it in our sedentary lifestyle, which we have in the West. Exercise number seven, my favorite yoga flow, therefore I named it after myself. Doing a flow down dog to up dog, just a few reps, Lifting my leg, rotating away to the side, getting the full lat stretch before bringing the foot forward into a lizard position. Letting go of my hand, flowing down and up into the sky and down towards the stone ground. Just a few rotations, then back to the other leg, the down dog, into the up dog, get your full spinal range of motion. Up and extend, lift the leg, rotate away, feel the last stretch, oh that's so good. Foot forward outside of your hand, letting go of the same hand which goes down and up. Three rotational reps here, you can do this flow as long and as much as you like. Tag me when you do it, I like it so much, I name it after myself. Two more moves for today, then we are done. These I call crab reaches. Basically, you're doing a reverse plank and lifting one hand at a time. You see, I try and look up and then back, reaching behind me, trying to extend and rotate away from myself, getting the full stretch while in a loaded shoulder position. So we're getting movement training and strength training at the same time really useful. We're gonna stay with our backs facing the ground, this time we're 
pressing up into a gymnastic bridge. You see this a loaded extended position of the shoulders and the back. If you can master this position, you will open up your anterior side of the body as long as strengthen your shoulders. Great little finisher today as a strength and mobilizer. When you're done, you have the option of plunging into the cold water. You see, I'm putting my hat on, which means it's getting warmer, right? Uh -huh. Hope you enjoyed this video, folks. Time for my weekly routine of taking a cold bath. This time we're entering the Gothenburg Ocean. Look at the beautiful afternoon lighting. <sighs> Enter the water, take control of your breathing, Wim Hof style. I say thank you very much for watching and I see you again next week. If you're interested in these videos, let me know in the comment section. Thanks guys, bless, have a lovely day, whatever you do. Cheerio!